China is set to become the world's second largest wine market by 2020, when sales of still and sparkling wine are expected to reach 21 billion US dollars. Imported wines account for around 40% of the Chinese wine market. In 2018, the Chinese market consumed 730 million liters of imported grape wine, valued at nearly 9.7 billion US dollars. Before that, imports of wine rocketed nearly tenfold in a decade. The consumption of wine is still expanding here in China. There's a huge market potential. China has been one of the fastest growing markets uh, for U.S. wine exports. In 2018, France remained China's biggest wine source, followed by Australia, Chile, Spain, Italy, and the U.S. In 2018, Chinese consumed an average of 1.2 liters per person per year, compared to 50 liters in France, 44 liters in Italy, and 9.9 .9 liters in the U.S., according to Wine Australia. However, the market has much more potential. L'azienda uh, vuole investire non solamente nel senso monetario della cosa, ma anche nella formazione delle persone. Vorrà fare tasting e, tante, e aumentare la nozione del vino italiano. There are also new challenges for players in the market. After rocketing nearly tenfold in a decade, wine imports to China suffered a sharp decline in the last quarter of 2018. As a result of the recent trade issues that have, that have developed, that growth has slowed significantly. I think it's a lot to do with uh, the rapid run-up of wine imports before, you know, we're starting to see the tapering off for the last few years. Um, and I think it's, you know, the market is getting saturated a little bit. The most difficult thing to enter the market is the culture. Allora, come primo punto, che dopo la fiera abbiamo trovato subito clienti nuovi e nuova clientela, perciò ci ha permesso di aumentare le vendite. De la CIE per noi è che siamo riusciti a conoscere in modo più eh, profondo e più intenso il mercato cinese, trovando nuovi clienti, capendo come funziona anche la mentalità, perché per noi è una cosa nuova. Last year, the first ever China International Import Expo concluded with deals worth 57.8 billion US dollars. Import deals worth 12.7 billion US dollars were secured in the food and agriculture sector alone, with wine accounting for a large proportion. In addition to just exhibiting your products, I think CIE can play a more important role uh, for things happening after the CIE. In other words, it's providing more services, providing more um, operational support. Per tenute piccine è un mercato molto ambizioso perché c'è possibilità di crescita, vogliamo investire tanto e investiremo tanto in questo mercato. The astonishing scale of the Chinese market and the more diversified consumer demands have attracted more and more overseas investors and enterprises to take a share here in China.